So 343 said that the beta launch of Forge is happening in November, but it's not really sounding like a beta. Ping fluctuations and server issues are being addressed by 343, as well as the cool diamond coding for HTS looks to possibly be unlocked for the Orlando event. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So you know on the, the famous roadmap now, it says Forge beta is coming on November 8th, as well as a Forge beta updates coming in March 7th. So how long is this beta gonna last? Well, it seems like it's gonna last for quite some time. 343 community director Sketch said to in a response, talking about is everyone gonna get into the beta when it comes to the Forge uh, beta? And he said, yes, the Forge beta will release on November 8th as part of the winter update, as we all know. Once launched, it will stay alive forever Evolving over time, this is not a limited time beta or insider flight, it's Forge for all. So when I read that, I'm like, this isn't a beta, this is like the actual launch of Forge. Just like how the multiplayer launched in a beta state back on November 15th and then it went full release, but then nothing really changed for the game and still nine months into it nothing has really changed much when it comes to the gameplay of halo infinite some minor changes here and there obviously but for the most part it's played pretty much the same since release and apparently that early month release that's the beta now we're in the full game i'm so now i'm thinking like no this why are you even bother call this a beta this is just the release of forge especially since they're still gonna be calling it a beta up until june i feel like they're just calling it a beta so then they can kind of get away with most of the community kind of going like well yeah but it's a beta so you know it's early access or something like that there's there's a re there's a reason why this feature's not in the game right now kind of stuff or something weird's going on with which I don't know how Forge right now is considered a beta. We've seen what they can create with Forge with all the leaks. I've covered it on the channel. And yeah, it's pretty incredible light years ahead of Halo 5's Forge. And funny thing here, the Forge map that we saw within the recent reveal is actually just a recreation, retexturing of an old ODST Slayer map that was created back in Halo 5. And you can just see the leaps and of technology that Forge has made with uh, Halo Infinite that it's just kind of insane that like the difference between a Forge map and a developer map is almost non-existent at this point which is so cool to see which makes me also go like how come we're only getting two maps with the winter update like give it out to the community they'll create all the kind of stuff that they want like this is going to be insane so if Forge is going to be sticking around to the rest of the game as this is actually the release of Forge not just a beta Will there be any possibilities of having community creations being implemented into matchmaking? We've seen this done before with the Forge playlist with Halo 5, and of course, ever since Forge has been released, community creations have been placed into matchmaking. And I can imagine that being a relatively fast turnaround, the only difference would be that it had to be thoroughly tested when it comes to bugs and glitches and how to get out of the map and stuff like that. But if we're gonna Forge content placed into matchmaking in a somewhat relatively fast pace, I think that would greatly help out this game a lot when it comes to content. Though, to be honest, I don't have any expectations or hopes of that happening until the Season 3 update in March. But at this point, it's proved me wrong kind of stats when it comes to Halo Infinite and development of three, from 343. I certainly would like to be proven wrong because some of the issues are still lingering right now. One of the issues that was recently brought back up was the issue of ping fluctuation here. The Halo support Twitter recently tweeted saying that the Halo Infinite team is still actively investigating server issues including ping fluctuations and packet loss in the multiplayer matches. This is a high priority and we are working with external partners to identify the root cause. Now I've certainly been experiencing the fluctuating ping especially when playing the Yappening event which has been a lot of fun actually it's a really good event but pictures like this from Snakebite where he posts a picture of him getting 21,000 plus Ping. like 21,000 that's like multiple times around the world that that is being sent around like how the heck does that happen with the latency and unstable packet loss like it's just crazy how the stuff is still going on to this day obviously the team is still working and looking into it well, as soon as we get that fix coming guys you know i'll let you guys know here on the channel because that's kind of what we do here now do you want those awesome diamond encoded coatings that are coming for halo infinite guys because we do know those are confirmed to be coming in well it seems like they will be coming in 
probably with the Orlando event at the end of this month, if not guaranteed for the Seattle event happening at the end of October, because this was recently posted saying that Optic Lucid has the Gladiator's Edge diamond coating and it will be a Twitch drop soon, which Tashi did confirm it will be a Twitch drop. Lucid on his Nightbot post on his chat here saying he does have the Gladiator's Edge skin, for participating in the HCS Kansas City All-Star Match. It's exclusive for now, but will be available in a drop for later, which there's really only two more events coming out, guys. So if you guys wanna grab these amazing coatings right here, I mean, I'm sure we all wanna jump in and get some of this this beautiful diamond awesomeness right here, all right? Well, it's most likely happening at the end of this month for the Orlando event or happening for the Seattle event. Again, once that is confirmed, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. We do know that they will be coming in as drops as Tashi, the head of HTS, did confirm this previously in a tweet as well. Now, this part of the video, I want to give a little bit of a channel update because we got the news and all that kind of stuff out of the way. So if you're still watching this video, you're one of the real ones. And with Halo Infinite being pretty slow when it comes to content and things to talk about and do in the game and stuff like that, I'm gonna just test out a few things on the channel. We're gonna test out some different games, different formats and stuff like that just kind of experiment with the channel a little bit don't worry the halo news and information is still going to be here like i love halo i'm going to keep talking about it no matter what i've loved this franchise through thick and thin since 2001 it's not going away anytime soon i do have this video going live on monday morning this is a it's discussion essay type of video i'm doing with modern warfare 2 i wanted to kind of get more into like discussion type videos and this is going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 and how things have been pretty quiet when it comes to news and information and how I'm kind of concerned about how this game will actually play out. I'm very excited about Modern Warfare 2, but I'm also very cautiously optimistic about this game because Infinity Ward has such a bad track record when it comes to delivering a product that the community actually wants, and I talk about that in the video. I will be premiering that Call of Duty video Monday morning. I'll be live in chat, hanging out with you guys, discussing with Halo, Call of Duty, gaming in general. I'll be there for you. I also want to do some more deep dives when it comes to Halo content. Like I really want to talk about like Long Night Assaults and like Delta Halo or some of my favorite campaign missions that I really want to dive deep and talk about that with you guys essentially i just want to try to make more what they call evergreen content where the content i make on the channel yeah i do like how you guys come by and check out the videos and stuff like that i do get a lot of enjoyment out of making this stuff for you all uh but i want to be able to make something that's gonna last more than just like a single day i feel like all, all the videos i've made almost all the videos i made on this channel for the past like four years have just been kind of just relevant for like a day maybe a week and then like no one ever needs to watch them ever again. So I want to be able to create something that could be watched six months from now and still be relevant. Watch it a year from now and still be relevant. So what does that mean? Well, I need to make bigger and better videos for you guys to watch. So I hope you guys will enjoy them. I also have a big project in the works for Modern Warfare 2019's campaign that I really want to make and go into with you guys. So keep an eye out for that video as well. Again, thank you so much for watching the channel, guys. If you want to know my full thoughts on the recent update when it comes to Halo Infinite, spoiler alert, it's not that great. But if you want to know the details, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.